My name is Jason Jamalo. I run Wilhelm Seam here in Somerville out of a spare bedroom in a, my apartment. And uh, we do a lot of leather goods here. We do things like wallets, accessories. We make everything in Somerville. Um, I think it's pretty cool because a lot of people in the area have been really interested in it because it's made in Somerville. I also like to think that it's high quality, but I think that people are really buying uh, local made products and I, I do it myself. You can see just where we live, we have pretty much everything Somerville, Boston, Cambridge related and that's, I, it just makes it more special I think. So getting into leather has been kind of a long process for me. Uh, it all started years and years ago I think where I first started getting into probably just leather boots. I remember seeing a specific pair of boots that I really had to have. I ended up buying something that was kind of similar but not, not quite the, the same and I just immediately ended up buying those boots after, well not immediately, but a, about a year later and just like being like really into them and just kind of learning more and more about leather as, as time went on. So over time uh, I started just working with leather, um, just trying to make little things like wallets and, and, and belts and keychains and so forth, really making them for family and friends. Finally got to the point where I said, I said hey I could probably sell these and it was also at the point where a lot of friends of friends and friends and friends of friends were coming to me saying, hey, how can I get these? Because everyone was really telling each other about them. So that's really where Wilhelm seems started. So what do I like about working with others? So there, there's really two sides to this. There's an angle where I could talk about really developing leather and, and working on new products. And there's the um, kind of like the repetition and perfection of a, a certain technique or a certain style or design. Um, so I really like both of those things, but I don't necessarily like working on both of those at once. So I'll kind of bounce back and forth. What I really enjoy, I'd say a little bit more than that, is, is actually making uh, new designs and coming up with new prototypes and then revising those and getting to the, them to the point where I can make them um, in, in a little bit more quantity than uh, a one-off or two-off piece. So with Wilhelm Seam, we have some future plans, um, mostly to expand into new items like bags, like I mentioned before, um, and we have some other stuff that I don't really want to say just yet because we're still developing it, uh, but we'll get that out, out soon. Um, really though, I want to keep this as organic as possible, but this is not my full-time job. I'm doing this on the side in my free time, so it's, it's really nights and weekends right now. Um, I do l l plan to expand. Um, I'm working on ways to make more wallets and a little bit more efficiently and some, some of my construction techniques. Honestly, that's what makes me happy is if people are into what I'm making, that's really what this is. It's not, um, it's not all about sell, sell, sell. It's just I want, if people are into it, then, then, I'm, then I'm psyched. Um, so where can people find us? Um, that's actually part of the problem right now. It's, it's, we're having a hard time getting to the people or having people find us. Uh, right now we have an email address, wilhelmseam at gmail.com, um, but we, we really put our, our, our stuff on Instagram. It's at wilhelmseam, all one word. Um, we usually post daily, kind of a, a, a mind dump of what we're working on at the time. So right now we're really just operating out of uh, pop-up shops in the area, artisans, markets, and so forth. Uh, we have quite a few coming up, as you imagine, for uh, the holidays. Uh, but we also um, recently uh, started selling some of our items at a uh, loyal supply company in Union Square. Um, so they have a, a select range of, uh, of some of our offerings. I want Wilhelm Seam to be something bigger than what the actual product is. And I, I don't mean that just for Wilhelm Seam, I mean that just more of a, of a movement or, or just a, not, not even a trend, just like a bigger picture thing where people are people are buying things and they're keeping them. Years and years ago in older generations people or your, people would buy a watch or, or a piece of jewelry or even a car or something like that and they would just cherish it so much and then when they pass it on to their children or their grandchildren or someone in their family it just means so much more because there's a story behind it. I want Wilhelm Seam to fit into that space and I, I mean it just really fits into what I believe in and that's what I want my products to be.